Changing your site name with Concrete 5 version 7 couldn't be easier. There's really two parts. The first part is what we display at the top of the page here, this logo header treatment. And the second part is the text that gets passed through as a meta tag for bookmarks and that type of thing. So I'll quickly show you both. Now depending on the theme that you're using, this might look different. But typically, all you have to do is put the page in edit mode and change this logo block. Now you'll notice when I roll over these blocks, sometimes they highlight green and sometimes they highlight blue. The blue means this is a site-wide or global block and changing it here will affect how other pages look. So we're going to go ahead, edit this, make this my site. You could also use this tool here just to insert an image if you've got a logo you'd like to replace here. And we'll go ahead and save. So now once I've published my changes, this will actually update across all pages in my site. The only other thing you should check is what Concrete 5 thinks the name of your site is on its own. Right now, if I go to bookmark this page, you can see it thinks your site is called Concrete 5 Site and we're on the portfolio page. So to change that, we'll just go to site name in the intelligent search, type site name, and you can see it right there. You can see here is a page in the dashboard that knows what my site thinks it should be called. And if I save that and go back to any page in my site, and now I try to bookmark this, you can see it knows that my site is called My Site. So that's all you have to do to change your site name in Concrete 5 version 7.